you know, these Keurig things, coffee. Didn't we just have a big kerfuffle over restaurants and bars using plastic straws? Too many straws being used. Too much plastic in the Pacific Ocean. But they come along and invent a brand new product. Is it really an improvement over the traditional coffee machine? No. It makes an unbelievably huge amount of plastic garbage. Why is it, Madame Consumer, that you're all on board with getting rid of plastic straws, but somebody's buying this shit. Somebody bought a Keurig machine and someone buys this plastically garbage. And someone, his head is just spun. Because they're just realizing, hey, that's me. Or I never said get rid of plastic straws. I never did. I don't know. Once you've been through the plastic bag, paper bag, switcheroo, and switcheroo back, and switcheroo back the other way, and go back, because over the lifetime of me, the environmentalists are they're going to complain that this plastic is horrible and you should use something recyclable like cutting down trees and making paper bags. But that's cutting down trees and making paper bags when you could leave the trees up. What is the solution? Get rid of capitalism. Capitalism preys upon stupid female consumers who are, you know, virtue signaling that they're environmentally conscious. But they, they're they not. They're 100% dits. Now, if it's a man, it's known as a himbo. H-I-M-B-O rhymes with bimbo, which is the female version of a stupid person. Are you a stupid person? Now, why do I have this? Because I'm in a hotel and the hotel supplies them. But you see, how many times on the news they've talked about virtue signaling... And wasted your time and you had a talking head fill your head your monkey minded head monkey see monkey do with garbage when really you if you stepped away from all of this stuff you'd be like me saying what the fuck is going on and the answer is always going to be the stupid capitalist Is at it again. Why the stupid capitalist? He's making let's well, he's making horrible karma. And in the end, it was the income tax act that brought down Al Capone, the famous Chicago gangster, because he didn't file income taxes. It brought down his criminal empire. Modern-day criminal empires are being brought down by bad karma. And it's bad karma, these things. The whole thing about playing on people's fears and, you know, their willingness to work for a better environment but being so stupid and small-minded and you know my husband bought that Keurig machine for me for Christmas actually so it wasn't really me and I didn't really know you know about these plastic things and then I got to use them and then they're kind of bulky and kind of expensive and in the end there's really nothing better for coffee than at a greasy spoon cafe where they have a bun o -matic. Bun, B-U-N-N, -N, makes the best coffee. 